Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral uh, BEDF, fully confined in other uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, BF length is one unit. This side uh, AB length is two units. The segment uh, DE length is uh, three units. And finally, the side uh, CD length uh, is uh, 4 units. And moreover, uh, this angle is our 90 degree angle. And likewise, this angle is uh, 90 degrees uh, as well. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral uh, BEDF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral, there are many ways to solve this given problem. However, we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job uh, easier. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these vertices uh, B and D. And as a result, we are ended up with these uh, two triangles. This is our triangle uh, BED and this other triangle is uh, BFD. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral uh, area is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two triangle areas. The triangle uh, BED area plus the other triangle uh, BFD area. So therefore, now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, BED and the area of the other triangle uh, BFD as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle BED. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, for this triangle uh, BED, we can see that this uh, ED is the base uh, of this uh, triangle, whereas the height uh, AB. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle BED. Our base is 3 and our height is uh, 2. So therefore, I can write a half times uh, 3 times uh, 2 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 3. So thus the area of this triangle uh, BED turns out to be 3 square units and likewise we are going to focus now on this uh, other triangle uh, BFD and we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, as well and once again we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height and in our case, uh, for this uh, triangle BFD, this segment uh, BF is the base of this triangle, whereas uh, this side uh, CD the height uh, of this uh, triangle. So therefore, the area of this triangle is going to be a half times uh, our base uh, is 1 and the height is 4. So I can multiply out uh, 1 times uh, 4. Let's simplify and multiply. We are going to get uh, this one uh, 2. So thus the area of this uh, other triangle BFT turns out to be 2 square units. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral. And now let's recall this equation once again. The purple shaded quadrilateral area is going to be equal to the triangle uh, BED area plus the area of the triangle BFD and here we already calculated our triangle BED area as 3 and the area of the other triangle BFD as 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. So we're going to have 3 plus uh, 2 and if we add these one that is going to give us uh, 5 square uh, units uh, the area of this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this purple shaded quadrilateral turns out to be 5 square units. 
In other words, uh, the area of this uh, purple shaded quadrilateral is going to be 5 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.